Our next story is about a young man who started out to become a police officer. But James Lindemann decided he could make a bigger impact as a probation officer. And he says there's one man he's obsessed with bringing to justice, Robert Brent Black. Black is one of Cincinnati's ten most wanted. And on Lindemann's desk is a one-inch high stack of warrants, all for Black. Lindemann has Black's dubious accomplishments memorized. Escape, aggravated assault, abduction, and 17 other charges. If the information's correct on this guy, we should have him in custody soon. Remember to stay in position and out of sight until I give the word. Let's get this guy. September 9th, 1992. Lindemann received a tip, promptly set up a sting. There, with additional firepower, were the Cincinnati police. Wow, that's really good. Who is it? It's my dad. He's coming to pick me up after school today. I've never heard you mention your father before. What's he like? I received information that Black would be picking up his uh, nine-year-old daughter at school at approximately 2 p.m. Okay, kids, let's pack it up now. I got an eyeball on him. He's heading east on Heflin. Hit your marks. After a four-mile high-speed chase, Lindemann finally had his man. Hey, Robert. How's it going? Fine, Mr. Lindemann. How are you? Great. I'm just great. I bet you are. It's your fault. Cops are feds. They gave up on me a long time ago. I knew you were still looking. If it wasn't for you, I'd be a free man. Black is the type of individual who, once you get to know, uh, <laughs> will get you to lower your guard. Uh, he, will, he will get you to relax. He will put you at ease, uh, which is the exact opposite of what you want to do when you're in contact with Robert Black. 8.30 the following morning, Black was cooling off in a holding cell. Waiting to appear in court, he noticed Richard Goldberg, 
an attorney who had represented him in a previous case. Hey, uh, Mr. Goldberg, can you represent me in court? I'm here with someone else. Give me a call. were crowded with jailhouse lawyers. Where others saw confusion, Black only saw opportunity. The timing had to be perfect for him to do this. He saw the opportunity, he bolted and hit the doors at the exact right time where they were both open because they're not open at the same time more than maybe a fraction of a second. I've seen Mr. Black running out of the corner of my eye. I've seen this man running really fast. And uh, uh, my assumption, first assumption was that either he's late for work or he snapped at first because he was really moving. Must have loved his job if he was late for work. my door and just shoved me to the side of the car he had a couple things to say to me and he said first of all i'm not gonna hurt you and i like that part and the next thing he said was, do you want out and i like that part but then he said jump jump and i was sort of concerned with We were moving at a pretty good rate of speed. I would estimate maybe 35 miles an hour by that time. Linderman. I got the first phone call at 9.05, telling Black had escaped. And I remember clearly thinking, this is a joke. After I hung up with the phone with him, I received approximately seven more calls within 10 minutes telling me Black had escaped. I was heartbroken. I couldn't believe it. It just, I mean, come on. That's not true. Couldn't be. I didn't want to accept it. September 26, 1992, North Bend, Ohio. Police spotted Black barreling down the road in an apparent drunken haze. At the time, we, we just thought we just had a, you know, a standard everyday drunk on the highway. In the car with Black were his brother and sister. Not again. Instead of pulling over, Black decided to test the cops once again made a run for it. He's good. Yeah. Follow this. got the speed of a gazelle. It just seems like he, he wants to taunt you. I, I believe he's making a fool out of the police department for the simple reason. He, he's, he's telling us just from stuff he's doing, the carjackings and, and what have you, you can't catch me. There's nothing you can do. This time, police brought out the dogs to track Black. But his trail went cold in a nearby neighborhood, and police say he stole a pickup truck and headed for Chicago. Black's escape wasn't without incident. He spent a week recuperating in Mount Sinai Hospital under the alias Carl Robinson. Police say Black once used the alias Guy Williams to post bond in a narcotics trafficking case in New Orleans. He has also gone by the name Dane McClellan. He uses different aliases. He changes his appearance. And he's intelligent. He has a natural calmness about him. It's almost eerie-like. He likes to wear black clothes. He's always preferred them. He's clean in appearance. Uh, he's very proud of his body. He's very egotistical. Um, he likes to drive around in clean cars with tinted windows, and usually they are also painted black. I think those are good things to look out for. Not a day goes by, not an hour goes by, that I don't think about having him in custody again. I want black in custody bad. See if you can't help James Lindemann put his obsession to rest by calling our hotline at 1-800-CRIME-93. And remember, Robert Brent Black may be armed and dangerous, so please use caution.